already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. You will pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Do you have news of our quarry? Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. Ah, he's did it. You killed the dragon. What then? To the elves? I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. There's been talk amongst the guards. It's your dragon. <laughs> Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the Jarl. Don't you forget. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to You've do with You've done a great you? service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense. Why, he is fucked up. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Long life to you, Thane. <laughs> Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. There's a rift here in sky.
could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? Who among us is possible? On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Passing through on your way to... Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Be careful up there.
So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Dragonborn, I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. 
Control means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Roll. Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of Kroll. Relenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means whirlwind. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Rex! Wolf! Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? You will 
given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient plain of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Wind guide you.